Something else that Basel III introduced, the leverage ratio. The leverage ratio, an underlying cause of the global financial crisis was the buildup of excessive on and off balance sheet leverage. Uh, in some cases, they were levered more than 40 times greater than the tier one capital. At the height of the financial crisis, the system was destabilized by banks deleveraging having a negative knock-on effect. So the leverage ratio, I must, the leverage ratio is, is, a, is another minimum capital ratio, if you think about it, just without any risk weighting. If I put it very simply, all your lending, how much capital have you got to support it? The notional amount of your lending, the leverage ratio. Now, the leverage ratio is given very simply by that. How much capital do you have? i.e. tier one capital, how much lending have you had? Notional amounts have you made? Okay, that's it, leverage ratio. Now, it's 3%. In the UK, it's 3.25% relevant to banks with a minimum of 50 billion of retail deposits. So it doesn't apply to every institution. However, it's, that isn't really, from what I observe, banks around the world, banks that I'm familiar with their balance sheet numbers, um, I don't see this as any kind of constraint. I've yet to come across a bank that was approaching this 3%. Uh, so it's not really, it's a very um, extreme kind of limiting factor. If a bank is approaching that 3% leverage ratio, then obviously it's very highly levered and its regulator would have raised eyebrows well before that. So it's almost like a, um, think of it as an upper bound. Think of it as the upper bound of risk, credit risk exposure that you can have on your balance sheet um, because that's as, that's as high as it can get, 3% or 3.25%. In the UK, leverage ratio framework: simple, non-risk-based backstop measure. Yes, backstop measure or upper bound, um, which is basically limits how much your lending you can do. The fact that it is transparent and easy to to understand and calculate actually is in its favour. It's um, it's um, it, it, as I said, it's putting a, a backstop, a, an upper bound on what lending you can do. Just have a look there. Uh, in the UK, the regulatory authority, the Prudential Regulatory Authority, the PRA, has uh, introduced a countercyclical and a GSIB, G Global Systemically Important Bank, supplementary leverage ratio requirement, um, and leverage ratio capital is tier one capital. And you can see there's four firms that are the UK globally systemic financial institutions. There are additional leverage ratio requirements. There's a reference slide there for you, specifically for the UK.